Red-bellied woodpeckers are medium-sized woodpeckers of the eastern forests. Their strikingly black and white barred backs, gleaming red capes, and white patches near the wingtips in flight make them an unforgettable sight. Females have a red nape and red around the base of their bill. Males have a full bright red forehead, cap, and nape. Their namesake red belly is often hard to see, as in this male example. Males stake out a territory by drumming in a prominent location and may defend it year-round. But by late fall or early winter, they are certainly guarding their potential breeding space. The male woodpecker selects a potential nesting site, attracts a mate, and seeks her approval of the location. In a natural nest, excavated out of dead wood in a tree, the male would start a nest hole, but the completion of the nest would not take place until the female approved. This is the second generation of woodpeckers to use this nest box, so they've adapted to their behaviors. The male has been defending the territory around the nest box for several months, often roosting in the nest box at night. Now in mid-March, it's time for mating and nesting. He begins by calling loudly, usually several times from the entrance, and then ducks quickly inside, tapping loudly on the wood. This behavior goes on for several days. It is interesting that he spends a lot of time intently listening for the sounds of females or other woodpeckers that might invade his territory, and keenly watching from the nest entrance. Being a good listener is obviously critical to his success in mating. He's getting a response from an interested female. After a few loud calls, he spots her and goes to her. He's back in the nest box calling and tapping. Suddenly the female flies to the nest box but quickly leaves. When he sees her coming, he quickly ducks down into the bottom of the nest box and continues tapping. You can hear her make a few cluck cluck sounds outside the nest box. The idea is to get her to look inside and ultimately enter the box. 
This cat and mouse game goes on all day, with the female lingering a little longer each time. Finally she takes a quick peek inside but flies off. It's the next morning and he now has two females arguing nearby. Woodpeckers are pugnacious birds and territory mates and nest sites are worth fighting over. Finally, one female, no doubt the victor of the dispute, flies to the nest box and aggressively taps on the outside. An important ritual in the mating process. Despite a quick look inside, she takes off. This is what it looks and sounds like from the inside. The male wants to avoid eye contact or blocking the entrance. He wants her to come inside. Despite these developments, the courtship progresses slowly and calling and tapping continue. But now the male has a new tactic to entice the female. He regurgitates a sunflower seed he collected earlier from the bird feeder as a gift and takes it to her. I was unable to film copulation as the birds headed into heavy cover outside the nest box, but I suspect mating was beginning to take place during these rendezvous. Loud calling, listening, and watching continue. He seems to appear more agitated and concerned about the location of the female and perhaps the lack of progress in the courtship.
This time he raises the bar even further by getting a cached sunflower seed he has shelled from a secret hiding place above the nest entrance and takes it to her. He has also placed cached sunflower seeds on the floor of the nest for extra enticement. It's fascinating that he would have opened the sunflower seed and cached the choice meat of the seed for just such a purpose. He continued to call and tab for another entire day, and it's now getting late in the day. He makes a quick trip outside the nest box to the female and returns. Suddenly the female follows to the nest box and quickly goes inside and they begin mutual tapping. Here's what it looks like from inside the nest box as the female enters for the first time. This mutual tapping generally indicates her acceptance of the nest box. After a while the female leaves and the male quickly follows. Copulation is likely taking place more frequently now. They were never observed to mate inside the nest box. Visits to the nest box and mutual ritualized tapping and bonding become frequent during the next few days. Normally the pair would spend much time and effort in excavating a nest box in the dead wood of a tree. But even though the nest box is complete, they both engage in much loud individual pecking inside the nest box as the mating continued.
After about two weeks, eggs were laying on three consecutive days, and the woodpeckers became mostly silent during the day, with only occasional tapping and muted calling, no doubt to avoid calling attention from potential predators. The male and female shared incubation duties and did not spend much time together inside the box during the day. The female appeared to do much of the incubation during the day with food sometimes brought by the male, and occasionally the male would take over incubation duties while she took food and rest breaks outside. At night typically the male would incubate and the female roost in the nest box entrance or in a nearby tree. Incubation is expected to take 12 to 14 days with hatching around the end of April. It's important that the parents change position and that the eggs are rotated periodically so that they all get properly incubated. It has been fascinating to share in great detail the elaborate courtship and nesting behavior of the eastern United States' most common woodpecker that lives not only in the forests and swamps but is adapted to thrive in our parks and backyards. Sometimes exotic creatures are right under our noses. We need only observe them and perhaps provide them a nest box.